Hey, it's Andy, and today I'm going to compare three tools for recording online meetings, Medik, Blue Dot, and Otter. We'll compare their features, accuracy, and price. And at the end, I'll share my thoughts on each of these tools. Let's start with MidGeek. MidGeek is a tool for recording in Zoom, Google Meet, and Microsoft Teams. To use it, you can log in with your Google account and test the features for yourself. On the free plan, you get five hours of recording per month, but the features are really limited. In order for MidGeek to start analyzing the meeting, we need to create one. To do this, let's create a new meeting in Google Meet. In order for MidGeek to start its work, we have several options. The first one is to copy the meeting link, paste it into this window, and click the Join button. The bot joins in about a minute, which is generally quite long when we have an important meeting at stake. The bot can also join all your meetings from Google or Outlook Calendar. There is also an option to send a link to the meeting by email. You can also install a free extension and you will have a widget like this that you can click on to initiate. The process of connecting the bot directly from the meeting window. So the bot has joined. We need to edit and after that it will start analyzing the meeting in the background. The downside of having the bot is that it makes participants uncomfortable and they don't really have the chance to fully relax. So let's imagine that the meeting is over and we want to get its result. To do this, we can just leave the meeting, and if there are no participants left, the bot will stop the recording. We can also stop the meeting recording from the main meet window. Here we can also set up some parameters, which, as a result, we will receive after the meeting. But the main features are only available on the higher tier plans. Next, to get information about the meeting, we need to hover here and select past meetings. After the meeting is over, the bot needs some time to prepare the information about the meeting. In this example, we can see what we get as a result of the recording. Here we can review the recording, but it is worth noting that on the free plan you can only record audio without the ability to record video. Below the video, you get the full transcript of the meeting and you can also click on any part you want to revisit. On the right side of the screen, Magic generates highlights based on the results of the meeting. You can click on them to go back to the part of the meeting you need. And we can also sort the highlights by clicking here and selecting only the most essential information. In addition, Magic generates an AI summary of the meeting. To get it, you need to click here. In this window, we get a prepared template that we can send directly to our colleagues right away. Here we have topics, highlights, next steps, and meeting summary. On the higher tier plans, we can choose templates for how the AI summary of the meeting will look. There's also an insights tab that will tell you about your negotiation skills. Here, there are a lot of different metrics, like meeting, productivity score, engagement, meeting on time, and others. Besides recording meetings, you can upload pre-existing audio or video for further analysis. To do this, you need to select this tab and upload the necessary materials. Next, set all the parameters, and Magic will provide you with the information based on the recording results. When it comes to pricing, the free plan is pretty limited, but the limits reset every month. If you want to increase the limits, if you want to record video and use templates, then the plan for $19 is right for you. But you only have 20 hours of recording per month, and if you're recording several meetings every day, that limit will run out quickly. So, you'll either have to pay for extra hours or upgrade to the business plan, which costs $39 but it still doesn't allow unlimited meeting recordings. Now, let's take a look at Blue Dot. The first difference between Blue Dot and MidGeek is that Blue Dot works without the use of third-party bots. So, no one will feel uncomfortable with an outside participant, and the meeting will take place in a calm environment. To use Blue Dot, you need to install a free extension. Blue Dot works in Zoom, Microsoft Teams, and Google Meet. And to get started, you just need to install the free extension. With the free plan, you can record up to five meetings and fully test out the features. And then, during a meeting, let's say in Google Meet, you need to click on the extension icon. Here, we can choose a notes template and select the language. Blue Dot supports over 100 languages. We can also choose what we want to record, video, audio, or a transcript. And if needed, we can also notify participants that the meeting is being recorded. After we have set everything up, we press the button, start capture, and Blue Dot immediately begins to analyze the meeting in the background. No need to wait for the bot. No need to worry about the quality of the recording, because Blue Dot accuracy reaches 98%. So, let's take a look at what we get in the end. To do this, we just need to leave the meeting, and Blue Dot will immediately open it in a new tab. Here, we can immediately review the video. So, let's take a look at what the recording looks like in a live example. On the right side, Blue Dot generates a complete transcript of the meeting. Here, we can click on any word, review the relevant section, select the part we need, create a clip, and share it with other participants if necessary. There's also an insights tab where you can get additional information about the meeting. There's also an AI chat where we can ask, for example, what's the key message of this meeting? And just like that, Blue Dot answers that question, and the AI chat will respond to it right away. On the left side, we can generate an AI summary and get an overview, action items, and quickly review the relevant part of the meeting. We can also choose a note template that fits the format of the meeting, and if needed, we can create our own custom template. Another plus of Blue Dot is the ability to upload videos for further analysis. You can upload any of your meetings, like from Zoom, Google Drive, or directly from your computer. Blue Dot will provide all the necessary information about this meeting. As for the pricing, with the free plan, you can record up to five meetings and test out the full functionality for yourself. The basic plan costs $18 per month, 
where you can only record audio. But unlike Midik, you get unlimited recordings. And if you want to record video, upload recordings, and create unique note templates, then the pro plan for $25 a month is right for you. Each of these plans can be used with a team by creating a separate collection and granting participants the necessary access. Now, let's take a look at Otter. This is a versatile tool that takes notes in real time. It's pretty easy to connect, and it integrates with Microsoft Teams and Google Meet. To use Otter, you'll need to grant access to your calendar. To use it, let's create a new meeting in Google Meet. And to connect it, we need to copy the meeting link and paste it here in this window to add the bot. After we click on this meeting, we have two options. We can either add the bot to our meeting or start recording right now. After that, Otter will start recording the meeting and generating notes. The bot connects in about 30 seconds and also becomes an external participant in our meeting. So let's see what we end up with. To do this, we can either just leave the meeting or go to the Otter homepage and click the button, stop recording. After that, the bot should leave the meeting and the recording will appear on the homepage. Here's what we get after the recording. It's worth noting that after using Otter, we only get audio meetings. We can't record video. And here on this page, we get the full transcript which we can click on and listen to the necessary moment again. We also see that Otter identifies the speakers. During key moments, Otter also takes screenshots, which can then be viewed here. But to get the AI summary of the meeting, you need to click this button. Here we can see that Otter generates action items and an outline. And we can also use the AI chat to get more detailed information on the meeting outcomes. Another plus of Otter is that it has a mobile app, which is great for journalists and anyone who frequently attends in-person meetings to capture everything they need. You can also use Otter just to record your notes. To do this, you need to click the record button. Here, you can start talking, and Otter will capture everything that's happening. And then you can use all the same tools to get detailed information about this conversation and regarding the price. On the free plan, Otter allows you to record 300 minutes of meetings per month. The pro plan costs $17. But even then, you have a limit of 1,200 minutes per month and a maximum of 90 minutes per meeting. If you want to expand your limits even more, you'll have to choose the business plan for $30 a month. It will allow you to record 6,000 minutes per month and a maximum of 4 hours per meeting. I think that's a high price for recording audio, especially at a pretty average quality. So, what do we have? Midik is a good tool that records meetings well and starts at $19. It uses a bot, and even on a pay plan you are severely limited in what you can do. Blue Dot is a quality tool with high accuracy without using third-party bots, starting at $18 a month, which allows you to record meetings without any limits. Otter is a tool that records meetings in real time, but only audio. On the plus side, it can be used without a bot, but it has low recording quality and costs $17 per month. So if you are looking for a professional tool, go with Blue Dot. For real meetings, use Otter AI. And if you rarely record meetings and need a recording tool from time to time, then use Midik on the free plan. I hope this review has helped you figure out which tool is best suited for your needs. If you are already using any of them, share your experience in the comments. And see you in the next videos.